TV.com, YouTube, what's going on? Oh crap, I just never went to the pet store and I forgot to get fish food. That's what I was going there for. But, I got some other stuff. Let me show you salt water and fresh. We got a leak in the bag. Uh oh. Uh oh. So, um, track supply receipt. Let me show you what I got with salt water first to get over with. I want to show you the best thing last. First of all, I got some cheddar morphin. Five bucks, can't beat that. That's what I'm talking about. That's not going in here. That's going in the sump. Um, where's the good one? Don't want to show you. Alright. Here's the second best thing. Another cottonyl acnus anemone. This guy is kind of small. So what I'm going to do is acclimate him right before I kill him. <laughs> Alright. So what I'm going to do. Good lord, I'm screwing up today. I'm going to acclimate him, first of all, by getting the temperature the same. That's what you want to do when you're acclimating anything. You want to get the temperature the same. Um, when you're acclimating fish and stuff, it's good to turn off your lights. Um, and that means you really ain't got to do that. So, he's going to temperature acclimate, then we can get his water chemistry the same. He only cost me five bucks. I got a discount. Here's the good thing, guys. Here's the good thing. What do we have here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You see that. Look at that fish. Oh, it's gorgeous. Koi Angel. Only $17. This big mofo. Gorgeous. Look at him. Or her. I don't know yet. Might be a her. Who knows. Um, just a gorgeous fish. It wasn't even supposed to be. They didn't order it every now and then. They get um, kois mixed up with the marbles and stuff. And he was mixed in with the assorted koi. And he is just gorgeous. I'm surprised nobody got him. So I had to grab him. Just a gorgeous fish. A lot of people don't like koi angels. I do. And I'm going to put what I like in my 125. We're going to get another koi angel so we can spawn these mofos. Gorgeous. Here we are with a little refuge. And what I'm going to do is just open the bag. You ain't got to acclimate uh, Chatham. What's the comment? Oh, there he is. Find that little sticker. Can't really see him. But, um, uh, there you go. How you um, put Chatham off in the tank is this. You take it out of the bag and you throw it in. And that's how you do trade more. And uh, I'm really going to build up the sump and just load it with macro algaes. And you can see it's a pretty big, decent sized chump. I'm going to go with Chetomorpha instead of Cholerpa. Once I get enough Chetomorpha, I might feed all the Cholerpa to the tang because... Uh, Chetomorpha... Cholerpa, Cholerpa, Cholerpa. Cholerpa, when it goes asexual, it kind of releases all the nitrates back into the water. It can cause the tank to crash. So we might be getting rid of the cholerpa soon. But uh, this ain't nowhere near done. I'm um, just loading it with some macroalgaes. Now this guy right here, I'm kind of debating putting him in a 10 gallon or... Bro, oh, yeah, I got to show you the angelfish fry too. Y'all want to see that? I fed him before I left. I'm about to feed him again. Y'all want to see this? Sorry, the water quality is uh, so green. Now, like I said, people, this... This tank is not that green. It's just all the duckweed. It's really reflecting. That's not all of them. They're hiding a lot of them. But uh, it's about maybe three times is what you're seeing in there. And you see these two angels over here. They're just dying to get over there and eat the fry. But we got the divider, so they can't do that. Maybe you can see them a little better now. A whole bunch of fry swimming. It's a lot more than what you're seeing. Trust me, they're hiding. And what I'm using for feeding is New Life Spectrum uh, Fry Starter. This stuff is awesome. I'm going to show you this in a minute. And what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of this food, put it in there like that much, and honestly just sprinkle it in there. You might see them all come up and the mommy and daddy's all getting pissed. Get away from my babies. Sometimes they'll bite me. And that's good because you want good parents. Good parents will do the work for you so you don't really have to maintain them. I'm going to do a water change on this tank in a little while and just take my time filling it back up. Probably drip, acc drip acclimated from a bucket. So uh, let's show you the New Life Spectrum. So that's the New Life Spectrum. Honestly, I love this stuff. It's better than feeding egg yolk to them and uh, brine shrimp because it's just so much easier, so much easier. And they're eating it, they're loving it. And if they're loving it, I'm loving it too. And I don't want to put the angel another angel fish in here because I just think... Okay, I'm back. And let me tell you something. Dustin, he convinced me. A lot of other people convinced me. A lot of people said, get this thing off stand. And I'm agreeing with it. 
I'm not liking it on the floor. And the only thing I'm hating about it is I'm going to have to drain the water. I was going to do that anyways with big water change before any fish go in it. But I already put the gravel down and the laterite clay and stuff. So I'm going to have to be very careful not to get that laterite clay mixed up with the gravel because I want that laterite clay to stay there. Um, maybe I can scoop the first layer off with the laterite clay, get the laterite clay in a separate area to get the dirt, scoop that up, and then um, put the dirt back down, then the laterite clay and gravel again. I'm probably going to keep the plants and stuff on this side in here. I can take them out if I have to, but I'm going to keep them in there if I, if I can. Um, drain the water, build a stand, put the, stand, put the tank on the stand. Um, so definitely want to get a stand for it. Um, and somebody said, I don't know who it was, and uh, somebody said it was a big no-no to put it on the floor because the concrete floor would hurt it. I don't understand how it's possible. Um, maybe you thought the floor was rough, but the floor is actually really smooth. Um, only reason we don't have wood floors down here or any kind of floors is because we got a little leak and we got to fix it. And what's the point of putting floors down when you got a little leak and it's going to turn to mildew and mold and shit? So, yeah, that's that's why there's no floor right here because there's a little leak. Um, some, I'm going to show you where the 125. I mean, the 55 is going to go. The 55 is going to go right here on this wall. So you basically walk in and you see, boom, 125. And the tank, the 55, will go right here on this wall. So this is probably about a, I don't know, five and a half foot wall. I was thinking about putting the 125 here at first. But I like it better down here. We're going to put some TVs down here and stuff. Going to look good. But um, let's look at the tank and the plants because I know you want to see it. And once again, the floor is not going to hurt it. It's just like sitting on a stand. This floor is it's smooth. It's not going to dent the glass. I, I'm not that stupid. I wouldn't put the uh, tank on something that would hurt it, especially with a nice 125 like this and it's oceanic and I got it for a hundred dollars go find an oceanic 125 for a hundred dollars and uh yeah it's very hard to do so we got Rotala Walichi he's got to get his color back piece of lattice got to get his color back that thing was turning orange but it was getting too big for my 10 gallon so I had to stop dosing it and stuff um wisteria motor sprite indica's got to get his color back that's Rotala indica a little bit of star grass I'm going to do a little little thing with that um, a Pongitano Vassar is back there, Luigi Ripens, oh yeah, um, those little red plants is Altalnikia, Reniki or something, Money Wart, Job Fern, Mario Mossball, Christmas Moss, Crick Wadidi, um, Binks Japonica, little Driftwood down there, um, Java Fern, Java Fern, Amazon Swords, Red Kambomba, cannot remember that, Sag Shabluda, Dwarf Sag, and, uh, shit, I forgot, oh yeah, I almost forgot what I was about to say. This sword is a year old, almost a year old. It's been in highlight, no dirt. Look how small it is. Well, it goes all the way down to here too, but look how small it is. This sword is a couple months old. Low light, a lot of dirt. Look at the growth difference. Almost a year old, just a couple months old. Dirt's better. Dirt versus light. Dirt obviously won. Um, so yeah, it's just going to be a pain getting this thing on a stand since everything's in here already um probably going to take half the like from this half on take all that gravel out and separate it and get the laterite clay separate put the dirt separate that and then put it all back in when it's on a, when it's on a uh stand and then start putting some fish in i'm gonna get my heaters i was thinking about putting my heaters in the overflows but i said it's a bad idea because it's not going to cover it completely i'm probably going to have my heaters maybe one down here to hide it you can't see it and then I want to put one in the sump I'm gonna get two 500 watts and that's for the reason because it doesn't like it's 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 less likely to have a problem so one will be in this area of the tank and one will be this area in the tank so it can evenly dis dispute or I might put one over on that side of the tank who knows comment rate subscribe tell me what you think of the new angel anemone angel fish fry 125 setup later